Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Tony Harvin, and welcome to the Tony Harvin Network YouTube channel. If you like, hit that subscribe button listed right here. After you hit the subscribe button, if you want to receive all notifications of videos that come out on this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell and select all after you hit the notification bell. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. This here is a video, not a live like we uh, normally do. I am Tony Harvin of the Tony Harvin Network. And we're here to talk about in this video, Pastor Geno Jennings being the best holiness preacher um, out here. As many uh, people know that come to this YouTube channel and my other social media platforms, and where so I broadcast the uh, the Truth of God programs uh, from Pastor Geno Jennings, a preacher out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You understand that? You know, it's been a lot of controversy with all these other social media platforms that disagree um, with the truth. So we're here to talk about it for a little bit um, and whatnot and things of that nature. You know, I came across Pastor Geno Jennings back in 2014, started putting up the videos back in 2016 um, and whatnot on my YouTube channel. And uh, it took off from there, you know, but it's not about popularity or anything like that. Most importantly, you have a preacher man out there and the ministers that labor with the truth of God. They have a caring and a love for the souls of the people um, and whatnot. And you have a lot, you have a lot of false prophets out there who have a bunch of hatred and jealousy because of the message um, in general. Some of them just upset and jealous about the popularity um, and whatnot. But hey, you know, the growth is every day, all day when God is in it. So it's a blessed thing uh, to be a part of the truth of God um, in general. So I'm going to go to this video right quick because a lot of people a lot of people clarify and even wikipedia wikipedia they put certain things or they may think that you know uh the truth of god is a part of pentecostal some people so there are a lot of people out there who may classify you know pastor Geno jennings you know the truth of god first church of our lord jesus christ as being a part of christianity i even heard some people say that with muslims um and what now why i separate the man from the woman like the islam do well here it is right here we're gonna check out this video that i put out some years ago whatever the case may be because for the most part my first channel deals with topics my third with the broadcast more so and this channel with my commentary so we're gonna go to this video right here uh it's titled christianity is a lie and we're gonna show those individuals out there what we follow um in general so just take a stroll with me um and whatnot with this uh video um in general titled christianity is a lie i'm glad i put this video out uh some time ago um in general you know so here we go with you. about your church all right next letter what denomination do you follow mm. <laughs> what denomination does first church of our lord jesus christ follow and not being like the common religion out here of christianity and whatnot you know i've never heard preaching like this until i came across the truth of god is a is a beautiful thing it hurts a lot of it hurts i'll be honest with you the preaching the teaching it hurts but guess what you know what i mean i'm willing to stand in there and stay in there and give an effort to apply the truth of god the scriptures of the lord to my life here we go after seeing several of your programs, it would be interesting to know further information about your church. Sincerely, Ms. Wilson. <laughs> Ms. Wilson, I don't follow no denomination. Amen. We don't have denomination. The Amen. Lord our God didn't start a denomination. That's right. Denomination is started by men. That's why you have so many of them. That's right. I mean, you have Buddhist, non-denominational, Pentecostal, Catholic, and Christian scientists. <coughs> And the list go on and on and on. We believe what the Lord told us to follow. Amen. The Bible says in the first chapter of the book of Ephesians, begin at verse 4. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4. The book of Scripture teaches us what was in existence before we came here. Amen. Listen. According as he has chosen us. According as he, he who, he God is one. According to as God has chosen us. In him before the in foundation. In him. Before, the, before foundation. the foundation of the world, meaning before the world was, what was God's purpose? That we should be holy. Uh, holy. 
I've never heard of anybody preach like this. All the first, all, excuse me, all the false churches that I went to, that I came from when I was young and whatnot, none of them preached this. None of them. And I'm pretty sure you who watching out there, you feel the same way or you had the same experience as me. I'm pretty sure the false churches that we came out of, a lot of us that came out of these false churches dealt with Christianity. That's all I was hearing coming up. Christianity this, Christianity that, Pentecostal this, Baptist this, Baptist that. I've never heard, it has not been not one preacher that the, the church I used to attend as I was a youngster coming up and whatnot, and even before coming to the truth of God and what have you, none of them, none of them said anything about this is how we should be holy or represent holiness. You understand? And a lot of these so-called preachers out here that are upset with the truth of God, that have a hatred and jealousy uh, for Geno Genesis, they upset because now that their members are finding out the truth and they are leaving. And you know when members leave their church, guess what goes with them? Their money. Dollar bills, $5 bills, $10 bills, $20 bills, and whatnot. Those five, those $5,000 offerings and whatnot is leaving your church. Now these fellas and these women out here, they can save their money. Of course, they got to pay their tithes. You understand that? Now, the, now that preacher, man, he's got to figure out, oh, how can I get some money to, to pay my car note? Sister Tiffany left the church. How you going to pay your bills, fella? You understand? That's, why a lot, that's a key factor why a lot of them out there are upset with the truth of God. You know, we got a lot of trolls and hecklers that come to my channel, my secondary channel. The first channel, my secondary, my third, even my personal Facebook. It's crazy. You understand that? They have a lot of wickedness um, in them. We're going to keep this video going. You know what I mean? As he break it down on what are we and what we should follow and things of that nature. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit. We talks about a little bit about uh, Christianity and whatnot. Here we go. Viewers, I was reading one email tonight. Someone asked me, what exactly are you? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> What are you? They say, we know you're not Pentecostal. We know you're not non-denominational. What in the world are you? What What do you profess? We profess a good profession. That's right. <laughs> good profession. Before many witnesses. Amen. Our religion is not Christianity. Oh, oh, I know that made some of you get out your chair. <laughs> Wonderful wonderful you know you got a lot of these people out here christianity this christianity that you know what i mean like i said earlier i used to be under that type of stuff christianity and whatnot you know and they don't even really follow what's in the scriptures at all get them <laughs> we believe in the term christian mm -hmm. the word christian that simply means to be like christ there's none better or worthy to be like that's right other than christ Amen. there's none more difficult to be like hmm. other than christ Amen. so we believe in the word christian mm -hmm. that's a person who try to live after the manner of jesus Amen. what we don't believe is a religion called christianity that's right <laughs> You said Jesus came over 2,000 years ago to start Christianity. Mm -hmm. Jesus never told you that. No. No. Amen to that. Amen to that for sure. What other preachers out there? There's probably very, very few, very few pre preachers out there that's preaching holiness, to be ye holy. Very few. You understand that? Besides the ministers at TOG and whatnot, what other preachers is preaching holiness? Very few. Very. You got all these other preachers out there and teaching and putting out videos, Pentecostal, Baptist, Catholic. You know what I mean? Right now, the Hebrew Israelites, they kind of get a little bit more popular out there with their wickedness and whatnot. Whether it's the ISUPK, IUIC, GMS, Hebrew Israelites and whatnot. I used to see the Muslims out there a lot. 
Now more so you see the Hebrew Israelites. You understand that? Why? Because a lot of them are promoting polygamy. You know what I mean? A lot of men out there, oof, they love to have more than one woman. So right now the Hebrew Israelites, they're trying to manipulate the scriptures that a man can have more than one wife out here. You understand that? But thank God for a preacher, a minister, and ministers at the TOG. You understand that? They can really teach us. And you have to be a humble person. You understand that? You have to be real humble. If there's something in there that you don't like that hits you, listen. Be humble. Don't get angry at it. You understand that? Don't fight against it um, at all. Listen, pray on it. Keep learning about the topic or whatever hits you um, at the end of the day. You understand that? Because the word of God is not easy. It ain't easy. Who said it was going to be easy? Now, when I was going to the false churches and whatnot, oh, they made it real easy. <laughs> you understand that? You can almost do anything you want. You understand? Not that I clubbed before, but hey, if you're going out clubbing on a Saturday night, drinking, smoking weed, you know, uh, what is that? The hookah lounges and whatnot, vaping. Hey, it's all right with them, they say. Um, and what have you. You know, if you're a fellow or a woman that love to go to strip clubs, they don't mind that over at those churches. You understand that? They still preach or teach that you can make it in, even in sin, or committing a sin, or committing sins um, and whatnot. You know what I mean? So when we have a preacher like Gino um, and whatnot that tell you how it is and don't care if he hurt your feelings with the word of God, you understand that? Now, that's a person who love you. Why? Because he want to see you make it and how you make it with the word of God and whatnot. The instructions that, you know, is being taught by a, a, a God sent, God called preacher, minister at the end of the day. So I definitely think the truth of God and his ministers and, and all those others out there, very few other holiness preachers out there. Listen, come out the woodworks. You understand that? I, I You know, you'll get hit hard from the false prophets and whatnot and things like that. But you got to stand up for the word of God. Let's keep it going. Christianity is not the religion of the prophets. It is not the religion of Jesus, nor is it the religion of the apostles. Hmm. Absolutely. So we're gonna go to their website right quick. Truth of God website, um, and what have you, because a lot of people tend to ask me questions and whatnot. You know, how can they uh, contact the church about baptism? So it's truthofgod.com. You know, you can go. You can go from. You can go to the to the more section right here. Contact FC First Church. You know, here it is right here. All right, so they have a contact form right there that you can you can visit and whatnot. Some people ask for the um, the Holy Scriptures um, and whatnot. You could just click on the store portion of the Holy Scriptures. You click it and you see it. You can get the large print. You know they got the CDs and whatnot. So this is you can get the Holy Scriptures right here. For all those inquiring about the Holy Scriptures and whatnot, you know, or some people ask about certain locations. Is there a nearest temple? Is there a temple near me? You know, just go to TroopOfGod.com. You know, you click the locations up here. Uh, if you're in the USA, there's the USA branch temples and whatnot, the international. For example, I'm in the U.S. I'm originally from New Jersey, but I live in uh, North Carolina. So let's just say New Jersey. And I believe it's one in New Brunswick, but I'm going to click New Jersey. So New Brunswick is right here, you know. So here's the address to New Jersey. So if you have a uh, if you have a question about where is the uh, the nearest temple uh, to you, just go to truthofgod.com and uh, explore the locations uh, section right here. All right. You know, another thing is I've never heard a preacher break down the proper way to baptize. You know, that's another false doctrine that uh, a lot of us who came out the false churches, that's what they teach. To be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. You understand that? But when I came across the truth of God and tuned into the teachings, Lord Jesus or Jesus Christ. I had to get re-baptized. 
And it's a blessed thing that I got rebaptized. I believe I got rebaptized in uh, the year of 2019 at the end by Evangelist Taj at the main temple and whatnot. It was a beautiful thing. You understand that? Definitely a beautiful thing. And then many other souls that's coming to the truth of God. Why? Because now they realizing that they false prophet, which they thought they was a preacher, lied to them. You understand that is a blessed thing. How many souls are getting baptized? Not that it's about popularity or anything like that, as some people may suppose. You understand? But it's a lot, excuse me, a lot of people that's getting baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's a beautiful thing. What other preacher out there is doing this type of stuff? What other preacher? Name one. Thousands of people is getting baptized. Thousands. You understand that? And the false prophets are upset. You understand that a lot of people are learning the truth about the proper way to baptize, among other topics out there. You understand that? Women preaching. I didn't know nothing about that either too much until I came across the truth of God. Holy communion. I didn't know much about the one cup. I thought I was uh, I thought it was the, the proper thing to, uh, you know, for churches to do the, the shot glasses. Or the little, tr the little tray of glasses or whatever you call them. And they got the little wafer on the inside. I never seen a church do it the proper way. How to give out or how to conduct the Lord's Supper at the end of the day. Never seen it. Never seen anybody break down certain scriptures. Uh, 1 John 5 and 7. Three that bear record. Never seen that. You understand that? A lot of these churches out here, they think it's the Trinity. They call it the Trinity. Never seen it before. So there's a lot of things that I've learned from the truth of God. I, I'm watching hours and hours of the videos. You understand that? My understanding is getting opened up, has been opened up to a lot of the topics um, and whatnot. And still, my understanding is being opened up. Of course, I've got to apply the word of God to my life. It's tough and rough, but it's a beautiful thing. You understand that? So I definitely appreciate everybody. For tuning into this video, how has the truth of God changed your life? You understand that? What was you thinking when you first came across the message and you was in that false church, which you thought was a holy and righteous church? When you came across, the first time you came across Pastor Geno Jenner's message, the truth of God message, what were you thinking? What did you do or what was your mind going through? Like, listen, I got to listen to this. I got to leave this church if I want to be saved. What was on your mind? You understand that? Feel free to leave it in the comment section. I thank everybody for tuning into this, to this video um, and whatnot. I'm Tony Harvin from the Tony Harvin Network. I'm signing off. May you all have a wonderful day. I'm out. Peace.